Hello and welcome to Workshop Studios. Today's project is we're going to mount that microwave up underneath the counter, or uh, cabinet, should I say. So let's get started. Okay, well there it is, all unpacked. Magic's a video, so you don't have to live through all that. And there it is, there's a glass turntable that goes in there. So it all looks good. Now, there was a little controversy on Amazon's reviews about this. It said it came with an optional under, under cabinet mounting kit, but some of the reviews said it didn't come with it. Some didn't mention it, but I'm going to say right now it didn't come with it. But in my case, because I can get right to the cabinet, um, I think I can pretty much take care of that by just using these holes, which have threads in them see that hopefully and there's four of them one two three four so I just need to measure up there and then uh, drill the holes and put the screws in first I got to take that light down so I'll do that right now all right so it turns out that um, 10 and 3 8 uh, I'm sorry 1032 is the thread size on this get one here so I can thread a 1032 in there you might want to check yours I don't know if they're all the same I'm assuming they would be so and then I have a fairly long one here I'm hoping it's not too long um, I'm guessing there's space under there for this to go in there but I've also put a washer and a lock washer on it a split washer and then I've measured all the holes so these holes and then I've transferred the measurements up there, and I'm just going to drill holes under the counter here. So, here we go. Let's see if I can see them here. <laughs> There's one there. And one back there. And one over here. <laughs> Where am I here? Anyhow, you can... There we go. That's what I was looking for. So, I'm going to drill those holes now. Alright, so there's the holes drilled, and the screws through. You can see them up here going down through the top and here they are on the bottom now comes the next tricky bit i'll show you what i'm going to do here and here we go voila so i can do this one person just find enough stuff to stack up there so you can get it up close and then you get the screws lined up and so you get a couple of them started and it should be as fine after that so i'm gonna give that a try all right so there it is <clears throat> I uh, practiced the fine art of measure once, cut about 20 times. So these two went in just fine. This one was a little bit off, so I had to drill it a separate hole. This one I drilled about 10 holes, but nothing a bigger washer wouldn't fix. So all good. It's all screwed in, and I'll start it up so you can hear it. Put in a cup of water. There we go. And we'll give it one minute. We'll speed this up. So you can hear it's kind of noisy. Some of the folks said that. And it is. And it does beep. I'd be able to turn that off. And there we go. So for a kitchen basement, it's just fine. And there we go. We got hot water. All right, I think we're going to call that D for done. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your uh, under cabinet microwave installation. Catch you in the next video. Bye.